Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on how Adidas Basketball managed to take a W and get James Harden to leave Nike. I've done a couple videos in the past that you should check out how Adidas lost LeBron to Nike and the real reason why Kobe left Adidas for Nike. So today we are finally looking at something good that Adidas did in their basketball sneaker department. As always, remember to give this video a thumbs up for more Topic Tackle and leave your feedback in the comments down below. Let's get going. Most of the time, we don't see Nike losing big name athletes to other brands, especially in the basketball world. Nike is now the NBA's official uniform supplier through 2025. Every jersey has the swoosh in the prominent upper right front corner, and every sock has the swoosh on top. Nike's basketball lineup prominently features KD, LeBron, Kyrie, and PG, which is stacked. But here's an interesting fact. If James Harden wins the MVP this year, which he's favored to do, three of the last four regular season MVPs will not have been Nike athletes. In a Nike-dominated league, where it was reported three years ago that 72% of players wore Nike or Jordan shoes, the two that got away must be a small but nagging thorn in their side. These two players are Steph Curry with Under Armour and James Harden who is now making waves with the brand with the three stripes. Oh, this old Foot Locker commercial with Steph and James both sporting the swoosh. You know Nike certainly wishes that was still a reality to this day. But Harden signed a 13 year $200 million deal with Adidas in the summer of 2015, one in which Nike did not match. Why didn't they? Well, Harden was entering his seventh season at the time, still without a signature shoe and according to sportingnews.com if it hadn't happened for Harden yet it probably wasn't going to. He's entering his 7th NBA season and the brand likes to start much much earlier because of the time it takes for an athlete signature line to develop and catch on. Nike had Harden in what could only be described as its C-level basketball sneakers last season. He alternated between Hyper Chase and Run the One throughout the season which are not considered high performance shoes and were far from the company's best sellers. To match the dollar amount from Adidas, Nike would have had to make Harden a signature athlete and in the company's 42 year history, less than 1% of his endorsed athletes have been given a signature shoe. You wanna know the real reason why Harden signed with Adidas? Take it from Harden himself, who said about the brand, I have a voice that can and will be heard. I have a pretty strong voice, whether it's in designing my shoe, designing my clothing, just everything. Everything that the brand has to offer, I'll definitely voice my opinion. Adidas granted Harden the rights to directly influence how he's marketed, and from the ads they've put out, it is definitely a legitimate statement. Come on, Harden. What if I was all defense? Oh, no, 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 no offense. You want me to put my game in the box? Boring. The Harden Volume 1 was well received by the general public, and it featured premium materials like a boost midsole, prime knit, and either leather or suede in the forefoot. Due to Harden's interest in fashion and sense of style, the Volume 1 are shoes that the public could wear to hoop in or wear out on the streets casually. Adidas introduced another iteration of the Volume 1 line called the Volume 1 Lifestyle this past summer. These featured a full prime knit upper with boost cushioning. Lonzo Ball proved that you could also wear the Volume 1 LS to hoop in as he sported them in a summer league game. And over All-Star Weekend 2018 in LA, Adidas released the Harden Volume 2, a completely data-driven shoe. The outsole features pods of different sizes, which are actually pressure points that the company mapped of Harden's foot in their Futures Lab in Portland. They added 15% more boost cushioning to the Volume 2 for max comfort, integrated a customizable lacing system similar to that of the Dame 3 for personalized lockdown, and introduced a new technology called Forge Fiber in the forefoot, which are TPU threaded strands that assist in a lockdown for lateral stability. Adidas really was the best place for Harden to end up at. Their popular original side of the business, they could create basketball shoes that could be worn for the court or the streets, as seen in the Volume 1 and Volume 1 lifestyle, promoting Harden's sense of style. They could also create a high-performance basketball shoe tailored to Harden's game, which you know involves Euro stepping and stepping back, which is exactly what they did with the Volume 2. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you worn any of Harden's signature shoes? And if not, would you buy them? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3 out.